Etheridge. I'm the Vice President of Development and Marketing for the Battleship Iowa Museum. And I'm here with a face that I think you all know really well, Mike Getcher, who's head of operations and has really been the face of our whole preservation campaign. And I really wanted to thank Mike in person, on camera, for his efforts throughout the campaign. It's really been educational. I've learned a lot. Uh, I'm going on three years here at the ship, but I continue to learn and this campaign uh, was no less educational for me. So Mike, I'm happy to report that as of today, we've raised a little over $60,000. That's cool. For the hull preservation. That's very cool, yeah. I'm very, very excited about it. I know that our goal originally was $200,000 and we knew that was a big goal, especially coming out of COVID. And it's just been a challenging year for everyone. Uh, but I'm so grateful that people have stepped up and allowed us to raise that much. Um, I know that you mentioned to me before that $100,000 would really be the point where we could get some critical work done. So I kind of want you to talk about what can we do with the 60,000 right now and what could we do with the 100,000 if we were able to raise that? So what we'll do with the 60,000 is to do a little bit more infrastructure so we can work on the port side of the vessel. Right now we've worked on the starboard side, we can reach that from the dock, but we need to be able to get on the port side where there's no other support capability. So we'll take care of some davits and some other support structures, I'm working on a crane repair just, just to make sure that we can have all of our infrastructure in place. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have to start buying paint. This paint is oftentimes several hundred dollars per gallon. And then we have to get people down in the water, get some divers down there, and actually start placing these pieces along the side and do the work that we need to do. The $100,000 number is, is a good number because what you want to do is get to the point where you're treating this like a bridge. You start at one end and you paint it to the other, and then you start over again. In our case, we'll go down the other side. And we want to make sure that this is a continuous process in perpetuity for the life of the vessel. That's really the problem with some of these older vessels. Some of our vessels in the museum ship world have suffered from this for many decades, and we don't want to be in that position a decade or two down the road. So we really want to get on top of it now, make sure it's consistent, and spend the money on a regular basis. Great, great. Well, thank you for that explanation. It, it helps me. I've been learning throughout this entire campaign, and again, I'm really thankful for oh, your you. efforts and Marianne's yeah. efforts. And so thank you everyone for getting us to this $60,000 uh, milestone. Uh, $100,000 is really where we'd like to get. So if you're able to continue to support the hull preservation, please do. And again, we can't thank you enough for your support. Thank you, Mike. Well, thank well, you.